Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm Brad Griffies. We're at the Brad Griffies Design Studios here in Atlanta, Georgia, and I got a really fun video for you today. We're going to uh, be showing you how to make a skating costume. And we're actually doing two costumes, and it's not just any costume, it's costumes for Gracie Gold. Uh, so I have been working with Gracie uh, for about eight years now, and if you don't know who Gracie is, she's a two-time national champion in figure skating. She's uh, the Olympic bronze medalist in 2014 at the Sochi Olympics. Um, she contacted me about, I don't know, seven days ago uh, to do costumes for the 2021 uh, season. She's got Skate America in about three weeks, so we got to get it going. So uh, today I'm going to show you the process of... Uh, how it all comes together and how they end up, you know, on your screen, in your local skating rink, wherever, you know. Um, so, first process is always to uh, do designs, which I've already done, I've already got approval. I draw on an iPad. Okay, so designs, short program. We have uh, this fun uh, Balmain, I like to say, inspired look. I love Balmain. Uh, if you don't know who Balmain is, they do really heavily beaded dresses and men's jackets, um, and it kind of feels like armor to me, which she's skating to Survivor. So I wanted something that felt kind of like armor, but edgy. Uh, originally she asked for pants. Uh, she asked, actually asked for something totally different. She had an idea for this program and I said, how about this? And she said, okay, great. So um, I'm really glad that she went with my vision, because um, I think it's gonna be really, really awesome. So. Hopefully it turns out well. So it's gonna be an all black dress. Uh, we're gonna use Swarovski crystals um, in crystal copper and in smoky topaz and probably some jet, jet hematite stones um, mixed in there as well. So this has a lot of beading. So I got my work cut out for me in the next couple weeks because I still have other orders to do for all y'all. Um, and this is in the Procreate program, um, which you probably, if you if you uh, follow any drawing people on Instagram, they usually use the Procreate uh, drawing program on their iPad. And um, I have uh, little bodies and then I can just draw on them. Makes it easy. Okay, for a long program, we got kind of like a little black dress. Um, there's gonna be a lot of beading on it, but we're gonna use just jet crystals on most of it, which uh, if, you, if you've ever worked with jet, they don't really have too much sparkle. So it's just gonna give it kind of like a little gleam um, look and then around the waist and around the neck we're gonna I think use um, light uh, light chrome which is kind of just a silver tone crystal so this is kind of a you know just a low down statement nothing like crazy crazy but I think will be uh, really good for her program because it's kind of a little bit of a, a moodier program so hopefully these turn out well I guess we'll see by the end of the video right okay so my next uh, process to get started is to start patterns so we will start that. Um, I start with uh, what I call a base pattern, which is just my stock standard uh, sizing, and then I'll draw down a piece of paper to get the basic of it, and then um, then we'll change the measurements on it to her measurements. Uh, so, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, hopefully, uh, hopefully this all goes well. So, wish me luck. <laughs> All right, I flipped you around. We are on my pattern table here. Uh, this table back here is the cutting table. Um, so I'm gonna start patterns now. Um, we have our adult uh, small uh, kind of sloper pa base pattern that I'm gonna use for Gracie, and then we will adjust measurements uh, for her uh, so that it fits her correctly. Um, so I'm gonna get started. I'm not gonna show you everything in the process because it would just take too long. So I will, I will speed up video so you can kind of see me working along and then I'll stop when we get to a point that I feel like I wanna explain something or show something. So without further ado, let's get started on this thing. <laughs> Thank you. 
right, guys, so come here with them with Gracie Gold. Um, I flew up to Delaware yesterday, and uh, you've been following me along in the process of making her dresses. So I just wanted to kind of sit here and have a conversation with you to uh, talk about the programs and choreography and everything. Okay, so tell me about what music you're skating to this year. So um, the short program is Survivor by 2WEI. It's a Destiny's Child yeah. cover, uh -huh. um, so starting off great there. Um, and it's, Jeremy and I picked this music out the first moment that we heard it and we were just waiting for the right time to use it. And when we were doing choreography this like summer, it just came together so quick, so easy. And um, it's just, it's, I don't know if it's like edgy, if it's- um, Kind of edgy and moody, I feel. <laughs> yeah, moody, like moody is a good word. Um, it definitely has like an edge and like a bite to it. Yeah. So uh, we definitely just knew we wanted like just like kind of like badass, like superhero vibes yeah, yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. thing, but without, not like too like Wonder Woman, yeah. but something um, more like Laura Croft, Tomb Raider, yeah. like superhero vibes. Um, and then the free program is a uh, War in My Lines by. Which I've never, I've never heard of that. So who, who sings that? Um, so Beth Hart, and um, I've been obsessed with Beth Hart from a young age, which is kind of like off brand. But um, I was just listening to music, and we couldn't really find anything for the long program. And then I was, I was, <laughs> I was at Walgreens in the parking lot. I had some photos being printed up, waiting for them. Mm -hmm. Scrolling through, scrolling through. Um, I was like, oh, she had an album out last year. Played it, played War in My Mind, just immediately texted it to Jeremy, who happened to also be on a song because he was like, this is it. Yeah, that's awesome. No, it, it feels very grown up to me compared to two years past. So I'm excited to see the whole thing kind of come together with the dresses and everything. Now, uh, Jeremy Abbott did the program. Tell me about that process. So, uh, I love working with Jeremy, and he is so patient, but has, like, very high expectations, because he's one of, like, the best skaters mm -hmm. in Definitely. the world ever, yeah. and he'll just blah, 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 and he's like, and You're now right. you, <laughs> uh, now you have music, just go, like, yeah. um, but... He, uh, yeah, like I said, the short came together just like two days. Yeah. We just, we probably could have even done in one, just like, why would we? Mm -hmm. um, the long program took a little bit longer. Um, Jeremy, um, he didn't have like a meltdown about it, but like a little bit like midway through, but we like worked it out. <laughs> And um, yeah, I'm really excited for such like, a change of pace. Yeah. Now, does he come in and work with you multiple times a year to like freshen up or change things? Or is it like once it's set, it's kind of set? No, he comes back and does like touch ups and works some stuff out. And he works with some of the other kids at Iceworks where I train. And on occasion, depending on where he is, um, we'll meet up and work together for a few days. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so off of those programs, I just have a couple questions for you. Um, one is, you wore uh, one of my dresses in the Olympics, the blue dress that everybody kind of knows. Yeah, the high and the blue. I've never asked you about this, but um, you had a little malfunction in the Olympics, which as a dressmaker, that's not something you want to happen. So wh what were you thinking when that happened? Because you didn't even look like, I mean, you skated a clean program, you didn't even look like you noticed that it happened. So um, this was halfway through the program, that it. Yeah, it was, yeah, I think it, like, opened on a jump, um, but the rest of it with the hooks on the back, yeah. like, it was still secured. Yeah. Even if, like, the full neck Yeah, I mean, it still, off, like, stood up. It didn't, yeah, like, flop down or anything. There wasn't anything shifting or moving, and, like, all, like, um, like, since every performance at Nationals, they're just putting it on for, like, pictures or whatever, um, and I think, I think maybe also, it didn't happen, I think, with I Was Here might have had, like, the same, mm -hmm. no, it was, um, 
It had it had the open back with the there's a black dress with like purple and blue that you would be in for Carly. Oh yeah, yeah. For mm -hmm. yeah, so it had the open back but the same Yeah, the same thing. No one could do those hooks mm -hmm. very well unless you had like previously practiced it yeah. on the dress. So Frank, bless his heart, was like, I can't do this. Yeah. And then <laughs> the team leaders, like Didn't everyone. Know there, yeah. You needed me to show up. They were like, how do we do this? They were like, where are my glasses? Like, I can't see it. And I'm like, we have to go. Yeah. It was, <laughs> oh my God. they. Yeah, no, that was like mortifying for me. Like, oh my God, I can't believe that happened. But yeah, basically what happened is that at that time when I was making dresses, high neck dresses, it hooks at an angle. And then your dress had little hooks down the back. And all the pressure was on those hooks. And it took the pressure off of this one. So it just popped open, but I mean, thankfully it did still stand up. It just kind of waved well, in the back. Well, that's kind of like what it felt like was it wasn't, because I think, yeah, like the, these Like, did you realize it was open Is it still, or did you just feel like something felt different about it? It just felt like a little bit looser, looser yeah. but it wasn't distracting because it had, because those went all the way up. Yeah. Pretty close. To the top, yeah. Really to the top, so that just felt as it. if it was just had loosened a yeah. little bit. Um, but no, I I work at the time something super annoying because I was like, why can't anyone hook yeah. this dress? <laughs> yeah, I should I should have probably done snaps, that would have been easier. Uh, but no, you took it like a champ and uh, like the most important day of your life it happens and you just keep skating perfectly. And that was great. It's like, it's cool. Yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah. uh, last question I have for you is, um, Nationals this year, of course, I did the dresses for that, and I was there in person. Um, what did that feel like coming back and skating um, in a big arena, and then the reaction from the crowd? So it was kind of terrifying at first because it had been a minute since that. that experience, and it was hard not being in like the top or like the last flight kind of nationals um yeah, but was, that the, was that the first time that that happened well i think your first year you had a not so great short program so you went the last flight right correct i was in the second to last flight um first year um but then you went and won the long program and got second so yeah so it was like yeah. oh my um but yeah the short program dress Never gotten more compliments. Yeah. Um, Jeremy, Jeremy's like, you should wear that for your short program again this year. And we're going to do something bigger and better. <laughs> and I was like, do we back to back repeat? I, I said, I was like, I, was like, I don't think Brad's going to like that. No. Um, but he's like, ah. he was like, I don't usually choreograph like for an exhibition. He's like around a dress. But he was like, we're just gonna have to like work something. Together. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, do that. Yeah, no, that dress, uh, we designed it. I sent you pictures of, of the spikes. And I was like, okay, we gotta do something around these spikes. And I thought it was. I just, yeah, I was like, cool, spikes. Awesome, yeah. <laughs> no, I gotta tell you, so, you know, I was there in person watching you. And I've been at a lot of nationals. I've been at Michelle Kwan nationals. I was at Michelle Kwan 98 nationals. And like, you know, there's those Michelle Kwan moments. But I gotta say, that was one of the most special moments to watch. Because you know you were you were coming back uh, from some struggles, and um, I think we as a crowd just appreciated you so much, you know, watching you, but as well as what you gave us of showing us your journey. Um, because you know we're so used to this like Instagram culture now, where everybody looks perfect. And it's it was kind of refreshing to see like no, you know, people who are at the top do have struggles and you know I was there at the end of your programs you know crying for just for you for that reaction for you um and it was amazing like how did that feel to have that crowd do that for you because it was it's something like I've never seen before like yeah it was it was wild because like Firebird and like Sleeping Beauty like my two titles had they have like standing ovations, yeah. but even if you watch the video, you know, it's, they finish and like people get up or, and then other people kind of join in with yeah. standing ovations typically. Um, 
But I just remember like people shot up. It was like at the same time in the same volume. And I remember, so I'm like not from Greensboro. Like I don't have any personal ties. And the last time, you know, like the last time that I was in Greensboro was not anything special. Mm -hmm. The time before that I had not qualified. Like, so for this kind of random, not a huge skating, Mecca, Mm -hmm. not really that, like, perfect. It was no, like, Michelle 98 performance. (laughs) (laughs) Like, that's for sure. But then to receive that level and for the length in which people were still clapping was, it was, like, strange, but, like, beautiful, but, like, overwhelming. Um, Kind of felt like a thank you of, like, you know... Yeah, it felt like for something other than what had just taken place yeah. on the ice, which was, felt like unique and special. Yeah, no, it was, I mean, it was really one of those moments, it's like I said, I mean, I've probably been in person to maybe seven or eight nationals and I've seen, you know, some really, really great performances, but that was like, it kind of took me back, you know, of just watching, you know, you kind of look around and you watch just everybody standing and just the just kind of felt like a thank you to me and I thought that was really awesome so um okay so now we're doing dresses for you this year um and I know I said one last question but this is the last question uh what has the process been for for these dresses (laughs) well um so I don't have to do a lot of work in this process (laughs) um but yeah, we sent you like some of the photos um, and ideas that Jeremy and I had, which were zero for the long program. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Gracie came to me and she said, we have ideas for the, sh- the short, but for the long, we're not really sure. She gave me those ideas. I started listening to music and then I started feeling something totally different. And I was like, yeah, like we don't... And so then I sent her pictures and then she's like, okay. So I, I like when that happens because that does not always happen. It's, you know... Somebody has an idea that I normally stick with it, but I was, I kind of felt strongly about this. I'm excited. Um, yeah, I'm excited as well. We just, like, Jeremy cares about, like, the costume, but if, it's more of, like, if it works and if it looks good, but he's open to, like, a variety of different interpretations. Mm -hmm. Um... And then my coaches don't really care either. Mm-hmm. They're just like... Which is like perfect for me because I can't tell you how many people that I've worked with. Like normally the younger skaters, they normally come to me and they're like, what do you like? What do you see? And I, I get to do what I want. But normally for the like higher level skaters, you know, you have the coach, the choreographer, you have figure skating and all these people that are involved. And normally by the end of it, m- my voice is kind of muddied and it's just kind of, I become a dressmaker. But like last year and this year, definitely with you, like... Y'all have put it all in my hands, which I really am thankful for, because then what goes out there is my vision of you. Um, so, so I'm really excited. I think it's, uh, I think what we got is going to be amazing, but we got to work quick. So I'm going to be going down to the beach. We're currently in Wilmington, Delaware, um, and I'm going to go down to the beach uh, this week and work on them, because you're competing next week, right? Um... Yes. Twenty third. Yeah, I was like, yeah. <laughs> Next week. Not this year, you. <laughs> Think about a week and a half. Um, awesome. So you got Skate America in Las Vegas. Yes. Yeah, that's awesome. And is there? There's no. They're not going to be a crowd there, right? There's going to be no one. No. Are there? There's the. You can buy a. Oh right. Um. You. Um. On. Um, a Lewis figure skating website that I'm sure I can, you guys can find. You can absolutely purchase um, a cardboard cutout <laughs> of your Yourself. face um, to be in the empty sands in Las Vegas. Yeah, um, yeah. what if one of the skaters they they bought like ten for front row and then they they just look like they're sitting there watching themselves? That would be bad. <laughs> I was like, oh, I think I'd rather just have it. Just empty like practice. Um, or just, puppy dogs. They could put puppy dogs. They could do so much, but I'm worried that only like ten people total are gonna like purchase these, and then there's just gonna oh, be sure. like yeah, a few random cardboard cutouts. But um, which I think is strange, but it's like a strange year. Yeah, so. it is definitely a uh, work for the year. 
All right, well, thank you for sitting down with me and we're gonna do Gracie's fitting now. So we'll do like a little bit of that and then you'll see the rest of the process of the dress and then end of the video, then we'll uh, show her skating in it and uh, being awesome. So thank mm. you. Yeah, of course. All right, now I'm uh, down in uh, Rehoboth Beach, Delaware for the week, um, and I'll be working on all the beating, or most of the beating. I'll finish some up in Atlanta when I get back, but um, I did fittings with Gracie yesterday um, up in Wilmington, Delaware, and um, I've come down here now for the week to kind of enjoy myself with uh, some friends while I do work, um, but I will be working on both dresses um, uh, on and off. Um, I'll switch back and forth between the two because it's a lot of work and kind of gives me something new to work on if I can kind of go back and forth instead of just sitting and looking at the same one the whole time. So you will now see the process of how all that works. All right, these are the crystals that I'm going to be using on the short program. This is crystal copper, which is really pretty. These are some bigger ones. And then I'll also be using some smoked topaz, which are more of a brown. So these have a little more orangey brown. And these are more of a uh, you know regular brown and then has some shapes that I'll be adding in so I'm excited and then the short program will have some light chrome around 
the neck and waist area. And then there's gonna be a lot of just regular, regular jet, which is just a black crystal. It doesn't have a lot of sparkle, but there's gonna be a lot of them, so it just kind of gives a glimmer. And then we also got some graphite, which is just like a really, really, really dark gray. It does have sparkles, so we're gonna mix those in. So here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 